Hi guys, Ashantin here. I am going to talk and work because I want to address a question that is frequently asked of us who are on this server. And we get this question both on Twitter and on um, our videos, on the comments. And the question is always, can I join your server? And it's quite a, an interesting answer, really, because the answer is not yet. I'm not sure if many of you know how Realm servers work. Um, and the reason I'm doing this, guys, is that I realised that I'd talked in the last um, video about making the server prettier. And at the same time, I had left this appalling gravel everywhere. So I'm just making it temporarily prettier. Um, this may not last, but it's a damn sight prettier than blocks of gravel. Now, Realm servers, you can have up to 20 people invited to a Realm server, but only 10 can play at one time. Now, we are nine people, and two of our guys have got camera accounts. And that means that there is the potential, even with nine people, for if people are running camera accounts at the same time, suppose we were doing a, a big dragon fight or something, um, you might find that you've got more people actually on the server than can accommodate. And we would never want to be in a position where somebody couldn't play who wanted to play. The only reason we've gone up this far is that we know that Nathan... God, those chickens are noisy is that we know that Nathan's going off to um, college. I tend to call it university, so hence the pause. I was trying to think whether I had the right term. <laughs> and I do. Um, which is lovely for him. Uh, but it does mean that he'll have a little bit less time um, because he's majoring in computing, I believe. But also, as I said on a previous uh, video, that guy's won a swimming scholarship. I mean, you know, seriously good news, Nathan, that's what I say. So he won't have as much time to do this sort of thing, though I do notice that Nathan has been practicing streaming. So, guys, he might be streaming. You might be able to follow him on there if you're not picking him up on here. Um, and that enabled us to invite Jackson and also Flamesome. Now, how did we get to know Jackson and Flamesome? And this is the key thing, because if we ever decide to move to a proper server, and we are contemplating at the moment whether we should do that, then obviously what we would do is to invite people we know. We are not trying to run, at the moment, probably not at all, big commercial servers or anything like that. For most of us, you know, this is a very, very nice hobby that we love doing, uh, but it's not something we're trying to make money out of. So if we were to ask people onto the server, we have to be very, very sure that they are going to add something to the server in terms of that they actually like playing vanilla. We have a vanilla server here. Uh, many of us have got machines that can't actually run anything more than vanilla. I mean, I tried running Feed the Beast, and I'd have to go into the sort of underneath of my server and put in a new edition of Java to do it, and I don't really feel that my technical skills are up to that. So, basically, we're looking for people who like playing vanilla Minecraft. We're looking for people who will actually play. It's very easy to get people who want to be on the server, but when it actually comes to it, they don't really have the time to play on the server. And that means that they're wasting a space, you know, for somebody else, who somebody else could take it up. 
We invite people we know. Jackson and Flameson were very well known to us even before we invited them on the server. They follow us, they followed us, and they still do, obviously, on Twitter. I think, yeah, that's fine. They subscribe to our videos and watch them, even when we were putting up, you know, very basic videos and we were all learning. They were some of our first, you know, people who subscribed to us. They were in constant contact and commenting on things with us and they just came across as being really friendly people. Flameson was already um, making his own videos and he came across in his videos as being a really nice guy. Uh, if ever you want a really, really... I've got an odd one there. Why have I got an odd one there? Do I want it? No, don't touch me. Let's take that one out. Um, if you ever want a really funny video, Flameson has this series called Ashed. It's not named after me, unfortunately. I wish it were. And this series is... He visits the nether and gets totally lost. I, I was in stitches when I watched it. It really is worth watching, guys. So, we knew both of these guys well. And we picked up that they were pretty decent people who weren't likely to be griefers or cause problems or anything like that. There's always a lot of tension when you have a group of people playing together. I mean, our group get on astonishingly well. You know, that road would be better if it went straight, but I'm following it where MJ marked it out. So I have this I have this great wish all the time for straight lines. That's it. And even though there's tension sometimes about what we should do, there was a bit of you know, we had as an emergency to put up a new map because our last map corrupted so badly. And we were deciding what to do and there were different views as to what we should do. <clears throat> and in fact it was Ricky's um suggestion. Well, I, you know, that we should do a medieval map. And it's worked out brilliantly for me, because I've never built in the medieval star before. And I'm just loving all the learning process I'm going through, because, you know, when you enjoy Minecraft and you enjoy building, the learning is always half the, the plus, isn't it? So, to get all these people working together, you've got to have thoroughly decent people, and you've also got to have people who will compromise. Both Jackson and Flameson are that sort of guys. They, they just won't, you know, create problems or anything like that. They go with the flow. They're nice guys. So in answer to the question, can I join your server? The answer is not at the moment, but if we do move to a big server or if any one of our member decides to drop out, then there is the possibility of joining our server. And we would be looking for people who know us. So guys, don't just come on Twitter or come on to, um, you know, the, the videos and comment and say, can I join your server? And a lot of fairly young people do this. I know what it's like when you're young and you want to join a server. And in fact, I mean, I'm not young, I'm an adult, but joining a server for the first time for me was quite a task. I'd seen some of the things that happen on servers with griefers, and I'd seen the rows, and, you know, I mean, Gliss, who's a wonderful YouTuber, had a hell of a problem on his server, where somebody just came on and, you know, destroyed it, basically. So I was nervous about getting in with people like that. I didn't want to play with people like that. And I was really lucky I found the super group. And for young people, this is a super, super group of people. But we have to know you, you have to know us. And it, it would be lovely if we do move um, to a bigger server to be able to invite more people. But guys, 
Don't just ask. Get to know us. Let us get to know you. It takes quite a long time. And then in the future, if we do move to a bigger server, we've already got a short list of people we would invite. So that's the answer, a long-winded answer to the question I frequently get asked. Bye, guys.